maybe it's timed out. Let me try clicking the my end to see if that's doing anything. Okay guys, I've just uh, designed my handle and uh, basically that, that's the, the handle itself. I'm going to get Same, the um, Stingray skin, uh, in a couple of weeks time when I've got some money. And as you can see, it'll fill that up quite well. If the, the Same is too thin, and I'll bulk it up by putting something else over the wood first, then the Same around it. <clears throat> now these gold things, um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some gold, uh, sorry, some uh, brass wire and I'm going to twist it, make it into rope, um, probably about the thickness of this and that will then be wrapped around like so and that's going to be pulled tight, quite snug and at the ends it will be, as you can see with these blue lines it will start around itself a couple of times and then it will go around the handle down to the end and then wrap around itself uh, a couple of times to seal it then the end furnishings will go on and they are actually silver so I've got a bit of a dilemma here um, I've got a horse motif brass and silver suba uh, guard which goes really well with the actual blade problem is it's a horse motif which by itself looks quite nice problem is the fittings on the handle have got uh, the motif on that is water 
with a stingray and a crab. If you're watching this on the weekend, I am currently at my friend's place uh, doing some more polishing on this. Um, this finish here, oops, this finish here is uh, the 360 grit, I think it was. Started off at 220 grit and yeah, 360. So at my friend's place this weekend, I'll be doing the 1200 and the uh, 2000 grit. So it will be the final polishing. So that's pretty much what I'm doing at the moment while you're watching this. Well, meaning you're watching this because um, I'll be uploading this on a Saturday, uh, so Friday nights. And uh, most of you guys will probably watch it on the Saturday. So, uh, yeah, this Saturday I'm going to my friend's place. I'm going to be doing the, the final polishing on this. Um, and I will be uh, uploading that sometime next week. So if you're already watching that, well, obviously, I'm talking past tense. So, yeah, there you have it. That is still several weeks away because I need to get money in my PayPal account to buy the Samo and have that shipped in. I've got to get the, the wire. I've got to twist up the wire to make it look like rope. I've got to fit um, the front and rear pommel finishings. I've got to do that and I've got to do the, the seppers, the two brass um, spaces that go in the front and the back of the guard. So, still have a lot of work to do. So this series of videos will be carrying on for a short while yet. As you can see here, that's loose, but that's fine because in between, in between the habaki and the suba, the, we've got to fit in the um, the little washer disc, the sepa, one there, and one in here. So having that loose, that's fine. Just have an idea, hold on a second guys. That's kind of what it'll look like. So that gives you an idea. That's going to be silver. That will be silver. Both black and gold. Black and gold and silver. Multicolored sword. But you get the idea. And at some point down the road. I'll be making a new new sire for it. Super is backwards. I'll I'll fix that. You can see um, carp and a crab. Now they're actually being used on my chrome replica. So for this one I'm thinking just for the time being I'll just use the parts that actually came with it and I'll show you why.
and this is why. They already fit, so I don't have to worry about resizing anything. Um, they are brass gold colour, so they match with the guard. You know, guard being the horse. Um, they've got the Japanese uh, cherry blossom motif on them. So, with the orangey red of the copper and Stuka being um, going to be black with the brass wire going around it, um, I think it'll, it'll look nice until I find something better. So, I think I'll I think I'll go with that just for now.